Welcome back, folks. Hope you're having a great week. One year ago today, I made my first YouTube video, and I cannot believe how much the channel has grown in such a short amount of time. And I want to thank everyone who's been subscribing and supporting this channel. We have been able to do so many great things and run so many great trains over these past 12 months. And I want to take some time tonight and celebrate that by recapping some of our favorite trains over the first year of the RPP Trains YouTube channel. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I remember a cold night in February 2021 when I decided to put a Sony Handycam on a flat car and run it around my layout. And that was the first video of RBP Trains. Most of my early videos were run session videos until the very slightly awkward welcome video that I made. I remember sitting by the camera and thinking, I felt like Ricky Bobby. I didn't know what to do with my hands. You know, I was like, uh, welcome back, my internet train friends. What's going on, my internet train friends? One of my favorite early videos was when I was ballasting the layout. And I shot this video around midnight, maybe even after, and I was bone tired and I had been sprinkling ballast everywhere and I was trying to get the layout done so I could get the scenes out to classic toy trains. So here we are, February, 2022. So the next issue will feature the layout. Really exciting, but it was a year in the making. And that night I was scrambling because I wanted to get all of the scenery done and you can tell just by my face how tired I was. It's really late, and I'm doing what most of us do when we're into model railroading, and it's I work on my stuff at night. <laughs> early, early videos, folks. Just sitting there, blogging my progress of my rushed layout job here. I remember another early video was when I took the four Vision Line engines that I had at the time, which was the Big Boy, the Challenger, the Niagara, and the first GS5. I recorded this during my daughter's birthday party. She was running around with a bunch of her friends upstairs, and I, my job was to come downstairs and bring all of the dads down here and keep them out of the way of everything that was going on. We were running trains, and I said, hey, hey guys, would you mind helping me uh, make this video. I'm going to make a video of these trains running around. And if you listen to that video very carefully, you can hear all of the kids running above my head. Just lots of boom, 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 boom. It was an interesting video. It ended up being one of my earlier, I guess, better received videos, maybe just because it was big steam. But it was a lot of fun to make that video. One of the things I've always enjoyed is running trains from all eras of Lionel's history. In O-Gage three rail trains, we've enjoyed a history that spans all the way back to the turn of the century. So the history is very unique. There's tin plate engines from the early years. Then you have those famous post-war engines. Of course, the MPC era trains that we run as often as we can. And then you get up into the modern eras. And I've always enjoyed blending those together on the layout. I've never been able to lock myself into one type. There is an endless amount of information and history when it comes to the hobby. I remember as the summer set in, and I was trying to find ideas for videos, and I thought to myself, let me just run my three articulated steam engines. And that was, of course, the Allegheny, the Lionel Vision Big Boy, and the Lionel Vision Challenger. And I just threw them on the track and said, I'm going to run these around for a little while and just take a video. The very next morning, I was on my way to a customer meeting, and I realized I hadn't made a thumbnail. So I ran downstairs, it was like 5.30 in the morning, and I just grabbed the Allegheny, just held it up in front of my camera, and just put it on the timer, and just took the picture about 15 times, <laughs> and then finally said, all right, we're just gonna use this. Posted it, and that video was such a big video for the channel. I think all of us enjoy big steam engines, and just seeing all of the different moving parts, and just the presence on the layout of these huge steam engines. One 
of the hottest items of 2021 in the three rail O-Gage world was the Menards announcement of their Santa Fe F3. It's been debated as to what type of engine that actually is. I know. But it was such unexpected news. It happened so fast. The engine sold out so fast. That video was just a blast. The engine was a lot of fun. It ran right out of the package. It has its quirks. All right. So no steady roll here. You're either you're moving or you're stopped. <laughs> Look out! Menards is coming! But for an engine that came out of nowhere at such a great price point, you know, I wasn't expecting legacy performance or MTH PS3 performance out of it. So it was it was a great one. And I really enjoyed the Menards video. And I still run that engine. So Menards, keep doing what you're doing. But I need to get a hold of one of your engines in 2022. Christmas in July. I decided last year to make my Polar Express video in the middle of the year, mainly because I was just too excited and I wanted an excuse to run it. Not that we need an excuse to run the Polar Express. You can run it anytime you want. But the Polar Express is a piece that is just so iconic when it comes to O-Gage. I remember bringing my Christmas tree downstairs from the attic. And my wife is like, what are you doing with the Christmas tree? And I said, YouTube, of course, YouTube. And she just laughed and said, oh, okay, go for it. So I made this little Christmas wonderland for myself and there we were, Polar Express. I still like the part where the smoke was billowing into my face. Getting, getting smoked out while I'm talking here. Another unexpected engine, and one of the biggest engines of 2021, was the Lionel Pennsylvania S1. That engine was so well received, it sold out so fast. I remember unboxing that engine and thinking to myself, I have to do a video where I compare this to Big Boy. We, we just have to do this. And I think even though the S1 video was all about celebrating the S1, it was that moment between the S1 and the Big Boy that seemed to really resonate. All right, so behind me, I have both the S1 and Big Boy powered on. And I want to have what I call the whistle war. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. S1 or Big Boy? Which is your favorite? Let's start with the Big Boy's whistle. The king of the layout. When you hear that whistle, you just know for the longest time that was the biggest engine on the layout. But now, we have a new engine in town. What do you think? Let me know. For me, that was the most interesting part was comparing those two engines and seeing them next to each other on the layout. Because we've never seen and we never will see those two engines together in real life. The biggest video for RBP in 2021 was the Lionel Acela video. This set was completely unexpected. I actually went to my local store. It was one random Saturday. I was going there with my friend Jake to show him the store. And Jim, the store owner, says, Chris, that box right there has a Lionel Acela in it from 2005. You want to open it up and you can put it on the test track? And of course, of course I said yes. I had to put it on the test track. But Jim knew what he was doing because I put it on the test track and we started up and it's doing all these amazing things and making these sounds and the pantographs are coming up and going down. And it, there's folks in the store and they're just looking at this set and I'm looking at this set. And I think in that moment, I realized just how unique and interesting it was. So I start thinking, I need to make a video on this Acela. So lo and behold, here it is in the collection. That Acela video was a lot of fun to make. I remember midway through the video, the train just started squeaking because it had been running for, I don't know, an hour? What you might not realize when I make these videos is these trains are running for a long, long time while I'm trying to get all the perfect shots and trying to wait for them to pass each other. I remember it ran for so long that the wheel started squeaking. Rather than just sort of fixing it, I just wove that into the video. Hold on. You hear that? We got a squeaker. Do you hear that, folks? Squeaky wheel, which means maintenance time. I was doing a lot of running before this shot, 
really fast, so I guess we must have dried the wheels out a little bit. Here's one of your passenger cars in all of its glory. Look how long this thing is. Little grease. And it ended up being one of my favorite parts, even though it delayed me for about, I don't know, 40, 45 minutes, because I had to disassemble the train, lubricate all the wheels, reassemble the train. And those Acellas are funky. Got to fuss with a little bit. I'm really looking forward to keeping the videos coming this year. There's going to be some really big trains coming out this year. There is just no stopping this O-Gage hobby right now. There's such a buzz in the air. There are so many channels and creators out there. And it's just been great to be part of this community, to be meeting so many folks that are into the hobby and just sharing it with you here on YouTube. As always, a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and to everyone who's been supporting this channel. My name is Chris, and this is RVP Trains. We'll see you next time.